Today's project is turning these three things into a lidded box. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. I'm Ed, welcome to my shop. I'm hoping you're having a great day. So what I've got here is, this is just a container that I use whenever I'm doing a resin project and I've got extra resin, I just pour it in here. So what that's given us is a really cool layer effect of different resins. There's some clear in here, there's different colors, there's some air going on here, and this is just gonna make a really cool um, lidded box. So to, take it another step further i've got these pieces of tiger wood that i'm going to use i'm going to attach that to the bottom and then i'm going to remembering the rules of thirds i'm going to part off the top third of this and put this in the middle and then the lid will be domed we'll put this as a finial on top not sure exactly what we're going to do with it maybe uh, uh, ornate video or it could just be a little short stubby one i don't know we'll figure it out as we go on so let's go ahead and head over to the lathe and let's go have some fun so i'm not a big fan of trusting that the um, resin's not going to crack when it's in the jaws so what i like to do is use some five minute epoxy and put a, a waste block on it so it's a little bit shiny here so all i'm going to do is just scuff up where the resin's going to go so it's got something to bite into because then afterwards we'll we'll part this off and then we'll sh do our shaping And now we're just going to put some hot glue here. And it's, it holds it pretty good. And that's gonna allow us to shape the bottom securely and then easily take off. Uh, Cause you know, it's a, it's a really thin piece of um, tiger wood. So I don't want to um, use a mortise or a tenon um, and lose some of the wood. So that's why I'm just using a glue block.
All right, so that does it about to where I want the shape to be. So I've got a little bit of void here. So I'm gonna be, and I got a spot here. So I'm going to be using a little bit of Starbond um, to fill these voids. Uh, look down in the description, you'll get a uh, discount code to get 10% uh, off. So I'm just gonna use the uh, Starbond Thick here to fill this one. And now I'm going to, just gonna put a little bit in here, use the activator, kind of build this up because it is a pretty deep hole there, but this will take care of it nicely.
All right, so I've been chasing these air pockets, these air bubbles. I thought it was gonna be cool to have like a little air underneath it, but no, it is not cool. Um, I tried feeling them. It's just, I just can't get them all out. I feel them sand and more pop up. So I'm just gonna go and try and see about um, using the micro mesh. I'm hoping at least some of the white will go away. Um, otherwise, it's just gonna become a, a design feature. What do you think? I think it came out pretty well. Um, see through it, I think that's pretty cool. Put some pictures at the end. Um, only challenge I think was the, uh, the air pockets in there. At, at the beginning, if you remember, I said, oh, it's got some air uh, bubbles in there. I think it'll make it look pretty cool. And I gotta say, it does look pretty cool looking through it, but I just couldn't get those bubbles uh, filled because every time I'd fill them, I'd sand, more would show up. So I just, I gave up. And after I polished it with the micro mesh, it doesn't look too bad. Um, but you know, I think it looks good. It's a really good fitting lid, not too snug, just, uh, just right. Got the logo in the bottom. I think that wood looks good. What do you think? Do you think the wood uh, takes away from it or do you think it adds to it? Um, yeah, I like it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was uh, it was fun. I I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm rambling on, but I, I like it. I think, uh, you know, I hope you do, too. If you like it, you know, give me that thumbs up. If not, you know, give me that thumbs down. That's OK. Comment, share. All those things help the channel out. If you are new to the channel and you do want to see other things like that, you know, click over here. If you want to become a subscriber, click up here, click the bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you so much.